welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. I have got Rosie with me this evening. She's just had a little haircut the other day. I'll show you her in full force. Here she is. Now look. I'm gonna look at the camera. Look a beautiful girl. Yeah, she done like that. <laughs> Whereas this little rascal on the other hand. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. This little one. Love a snuggle all day long, wouldn't you? Oh, <laughs> hello. Who are you? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted all the time. Um, but as you can tell, I've just got back from the office because these two are so incredibly needy for attention, aren't you? I know. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely week. We are actually on Thursday, so I'm starting this video a little bit later than I probably normally would. But in reality, we actually haven't had um, a lot of time to get stuff done in the house. Tonight, Sam is working outside. He's doing the porch area. He's getting it all bricked up um, to the right level. Um, and then tomorrow, he's hoping he'll have a bit more time to continue on with the porch again. And then on Sunday, um, he's also going to potentially try and fit the inner front door. So we've got a bit of an issue. Um, the porch that we're gonna have put in place is pretty much like a glass, frosted glass, composite door and then frosted glass on the other side and then we've got an inner front door which is pretty much just like a standard upvc but it's a full pane of glass and then a window to the side and because the porch is frosted glass so you can't see through it we decided that we'd have clear glass with the inner front door just so that it allows more sort of light to come through and we can see into the porch but we need to fit the inner front door before we fit the porch which means that people can see straight through the house so i think we need to come up with a plan of action to try and cover that up over the next week that's if we even get around to doing that on sunday with regards to the ensuite, we actually are not in there yet. Um, we are having issues with like the water pressure and stuff, which we did have with the main bathroom. Um, but the same thing is happening in the ensuite and the shower is literally just trickling out water. So we're just continuing on using the main bathroom for now and we need to get a shower pump fitted to um, the water tank that we've got so that we can have a bit more pressure coming through. So that's when we will be able to use the ensuite. Um, but we actually haven't received the cabinet yet either. So I suppose when that's all done together, that's when we'll probably end up moving into that room properly. So yeah, nothing seems to have gone to plan, which it never does. On another note, we received some posts today from the Dogs Trust because we adopt a dog there and a Christmas catalogue came through the post. Can you believe it? A Christmas catalogue we're in August and today is actually a scorcher of a day it's like 26 degrees which is so nice compared to the miserable weather that we've had but it means that this little one here and your little sissy have got to wait till later to take you out because it's way too hot oh I know you're gonna look at the camera as you can see this little one is a bit needy so I think I ought to give him a little bit of attention and catch up with you in a little while when Sam has got more of the porch done I mean, look at him. Like, butter wouldn't melt. Friday afternoon and I've come back up from the office to progress in the house which is nice so I've had a couple of hours this afternoon to get back and get the porch concreted so yesterday he managed to get it all bricked up um, I'll show you out there in a second and then upstairs the skirting and coven has been taken away off of the landing all of like the table and the mess and everything has been sort of like cleared away so it does look bigger up there and it's just given me so many ideas now that it's cleared up as to what to do up there so um, I'll show you up there in a second as well um, but if I show you outside the door we have got the porch concreted and obviously the brickwork done yes i am talking quieter because if anybody walks by they're gonna think i'm mental um and then i'm not 100 sure um what that gap's going to be filled with yet 
uh, but yeah this part is pretty much there and ready for the next stage and then we have also got the glass ready to change the front door that is here and then if I take you on upstairs the skirting has been taken down and the coven at the top here and I think because the table's not here anymore it just makes it look so much bigger and then around here it's all been cleared up, all been taken off. Um, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do because these have been a godsend to keep the dust out of the bedroom and the bathroom whilst we were working on the other rooms. But now the other rooms are done, I'm not sure how we're going to go about doing it because this has got to come down um, in order to be able to get to the walls for pasturing. So I've just realised the door has been taken off of here so all of this has been ripped off. And this is all going to get like redone at some point. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that. But I can see that Sam's taken that away so he can see behind there. Um, but yeah, all exciting things. Camera is flashing red so I'm going to go now. Firstly, I want to apologise for the audio quality of this part of the video. I don't actually have a speaker, so it may be a little bit on the quieter side. But if you like to see us taking the door and window out and then putting in new, then please do keep on watching. Firstly, Sam debeads the inside of the door and takes the glazing out. If you have any of these sort of more up-to-date UPVC systems, then um, everything gets taken out and put back in from the inside. I think it's pretty much for safety. Um, Sam goes in and takes the screws out of the frame so he's able to take everything out. Um, I am by no means a professional at explaining this. I should actually have Sam here with me, um, but he's currently not here so you've just got to make do with my poor explanations. Um, but then Sam goes in and takes the window and door out, obviously knocking the light off there. And then I go in and take the skirting off and then go in with the hammer just to nail the wall, nail the walls, nail this and the nails back into the wall. I don't know, I'm just doing as I'm told. And then I go in and sweep everything up. Look at the dust, it's unbelievable. The whole house is like it, so I'm used to it now. And then Sam goes in and takes the black caps off with the new windows and doors. When they get delivered, they have them on. I think it's just for protection. Um, and then we go in and put the door up up in and then clamp the door open and I'm trying to be as helpful as possible so I go in with a screw gun and some screws just to kind of hold the frame in place and then here I am taking the caps off again um, and then I also go in and peel off some of the film from for the inside outside of the door I think I rotate it around in a minute I don't know what I'm talking about but I just thought this audio bit would be a bit funny just to film um, and then Sam and his professional eye just trying to make sure everything is perfect of course and then here I am again just drilling some screws into holes I don't know what I'm doing I just get told what to do and I'll give it a try um, I don't like anything that's too loud though so here you might be able to see I'm covering my ears up because I just can't cope with the noise uh, which is pathetic I know uh, and then I go in and just basically go over the holes that he's just made with the screw gun and the screws and then afterwards Sam is glazing up the window and door from the inside he didn't actually need my help for this part so I'd basically just let him crack on with it and then afterwards I think that's pretty much the end so from the inside I'll show you in a second what it looks like there we go so this is the before and then coming to the outside as you can see a really filthy door and then this is the after the difference is incredible and I absolutely love how it looks now our inner front door is in and I am so happy with how it looks even though it's not 100% done yet um, we've still got like the window board and stuff to put on and um, all up around here Sam was like please make sure that you say that that's not going to be the finish um, so yeah all of this is going to be all stripped back and redone um, but now that the door is actually in it just brightens it up so much like as you can see all this brown that's all in the house still is just horrid but without trying to show you too much um yeah it just 
looks so much brighter um, and obviously it does make a difference that it's clear glass instead of frosted glass um, I think that does sort of dull down um, the brightness a little bit but um, obviously we will have the frosted glass on our porch so that will kind of dull it down a little bit but I do think white is a good sort of blank canvas to work from we was going to have the agate grey that we've obviously got outside we was going to have this colour um inside as well but we decided against it because i think as soon as you have colors on the walls you don't really know if it's going to clash or not so it's something i do advise if you decide that you're going to have windows and doors fitted i would generally stick with white inside and color out first of all it will save you a bit of money and second of all you've not got the color that will clash with anything as well and it's the same with the composite door that we're going to have on the porch that is actually going to be a light blue on the outside and white inside just to keep it pristine so yeah i'm really looking forward to getting that fitted this week um i'm going to end this video here obviously the next video will include the setup of the porch which is so exciting i do feel like the progress um that we've managed to get done out there with all the brickwork the concrete and the door it's all happened so quickly so fingers crossed i can keep that up and actually have some interesting content